Hello and welcome to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Oh boy, I was waiting a long time for uh, an RPG like this to come out again uh, since I uh, finished uh, Pillars of Eternity 2. And I'm kind of happy that we're seeing more of this uh, team based RPGs, actual RPGs with decisions. Uh, I can definitely, uh, well, play as many as they release, I suppose. So. Hmm, good question. I don't want it to be so hard that we can progress, but I'm no pussy. I can I can take it. I can take it hard. Maybe not unfair. That that seems for uh that's not for me. I'm not the kind of guy that just really well, it's at the first playthrough, so uh let's just go. Character, sure. Okay. In a way, it kind of reminds me, like, I, I tried this out, uh, tried this game out briefly. It also kind of reminds me of, like, the the older games as well, like, uh, Fallout. And that's, that's a really good thing. So, not, not Fallout 3, but Fallout 1 and 2. So, obviously, we're gonna make a character. We're not gonna go with Hedwig, Melaku, Vailin, Gimar, or Yadmila. No offense to any of you. Let's go next. Well, this is just uh, Proper's uh, Mama's Boy. No, we're not gonna go with that. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of portraits. Yeah, I, I did check out the character creation screen already. That's basically my last two days. I just get into these quite a bit. I, and I have a, a pretty good idea what I want to make here. Um... Uh, I think just for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna go with this guy. He looks, he looks classy. Let's go next. And we're probably gonna be a human. It's very tempting to just go and uh, explore the other races, but if you're like talking role-playing, uh, then it's not too bad of an idea uh, to go with a familiar approach. All right, what we have here, that looks fine. That looks fine as well. Um, sure. Yeah, let's let's do black. That's good good enough for me. Uh, dude, dude, human. Uh, yep. Yeah, let's go next. Uh, what? Oh yeah, the class we're gonna pick. Now, if you're like getting into a game that you're really not that familiar with, or like RPG, that's mostly applies to RPGs. Probably going with a, a fighter class is, is a good idea, especially in games like this. Uh, going with a high strength character as your main character, although I'm not exactly sure how the game works. But like just having someone who can like take hits, uh, deal a lot of hits, and uh, in some cases uh, needs to carry the loot. Uh, that's quite uh, so I think I'm gonna go with a fighter here. All I already checked out the classes. They're cool as hell. We can just uh, look at the screen for, uh, well, for months actually. So there's definitely a lot of options here. If you if you really want to go into it, uh, I'm not sure I want to go into it as much right now because although I'm picking a uh, relatively. Uh, simplistic uh, main character we're definitely gonna have a lot of companions and uh, yeah I'll be, be busy just managing all of them so the game uh, recommends me that I go with Dex and Khan uh, for a fighter I will I won't strictly follow that I just go with something like this. So we have like proper hit points, like plus two per level, and uh, some dexterity. Uh, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, don't be. I won't go out of my way to uh, just, I don't know, to just explain everything. Should I explain everything? I don't know. I don't know if I should explain everything, but Basically, we use strength, uh, that's gonna give us a uh, higher chance to hit, 
and more damage with our melee attacks. Uh, that's what we are planning. We're gonna do uh, two weapon, uh, two handed uh, uh, fighting with like uh, melee weapons. So, big sword. That's about it. Also, because we are strong, we can carry a lot of stuff. We can avoid some blows and uh, don't die as easy. And uh, we are not here. We have average intelligence, not the wisest. Well, it's gotta be said that uh, I'm not exactly known for my wisdom, and that's probably gonna show in this adventure. But well, at least I at least have an average charisma, even as a fighter. Come on, if I if I was a sorcerer, like twenty charisma, easy, extra value. I think we're done here. Abilities. <clears throat> What do we do? Okay. So this kind of reminds me of Neverwinter Nights in a way. I'm not sure why exactly that game. So it doesn't come off like uh, Pillars of Eternity slash Tyranny. So that this part is definitely like D&D, strongly uh, based on D&D, but like some other parts of the game, although I barely played that, uh, do remind me of like uh, Fallout. And, of course, like, uh, the system, uh, the game system is a little bit, well, like, I think most, mainly based on the newer Pillars of Eternity and Tyranny games. Well, there's only one Tyranny. So, what do we pick? Based on what I picked... What I, what I know we should pick, we probably should go with, like, power attack, maybe... Um, maybe toughness. This gives us extra hit points. Uh, power attacks gives us more damage in exchange for lower chance to hit. And uh, we're probably gonna pick up cleave. Uh, this gives us an extra... Health pool and uh, ex especially initially, and uh, a little bit going forward, plus one. So that's basically like two constitution. That's kind of nice. Not very needed on a fighter, but I feel like early on uh, you might want to pick that up. And I think we're gonna have a lot of feats as a fighter. Bonus combat feat. Well, that's a good pickup. And most importantly, it should make. Uh, our early game, uh, easy. Er. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Nah, that doesn't sound too confident to me. All I see is blackness. All I see is blackness. No, that's ah, uh, that's. Get it off me. Nah. I have no need for this. I have no need for this. Nah, boring. Let us be off. What? I won't give up. Kind of sounds like Deckard Kane. This is my path. You're done for. You're done for. No. Enemy near. Boring. I feel faint. Lame. Everyone counts on me. I lead. You follow. I like this. I'm really tempted to pick aggressive because uh, I did check out the other the options before, and uh, they sound kind of lame. All this waiting bores me. I like him. My wounds pile off. Spells not working like that. Well, we're not gonna be saying that because <laughs> we don't use spells. I am superior. Well, that's that's. None shall escape. Well, this guy needs to we chill. Will be victorious. I like pragmatic as well. He just like Time's he just says what's waiting. up. But come All on, we gotta go with aggressive. Me. Uh, oh yeah. What is that? First of Abadius. Oh, that's January 1st. I think that's 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 just it. It is a known fact that 90% of the people is born are born on January January 1st. Just just check at any online poll or just where you have to sign up. January 1st every time. Okay, what should be our name? Uh I'm a little bit uh just uh, I don't know. I don't know what to, what, what to go with here, because I have many approaches. Sometimes I go with a lame name. I can just make a fantasy name. Sometimes I go with a uh, just, a, just a really fun name. I'm very tempted to go with fun names, 
and that just really comes up and it's just a big laugh or <laughs> it, it, it really does help or I can just go with like a name like uh, like dude I like going with this because uh, I know it's lame, but it if the if the game takes itself too seriously, then uh, it just really backfires. The more the game takes itself itself seriously, the more it backfires, <laughs> and, it, and it's uh, pretty good. Uh, alignment. I'm not gonna go into this way too much, but I tend to gravitate toward chaotic neutral. I don't know if I wanna. Uh, go from uh, some other destination. I guess we can start on neutral and just see where I land. Let's just go with neutral. It's very hard to stay on neutral. Well, I gravitate toward like neutral, chaotic, neutral, chaotic, good. That's usually my style. I'm rarely lawful. Let's go. Let's go with dude. I think. Wait, what? What did I not choose? Choose a voice? I did choose. Let's hear you! Spells not work. Okay, I, I did choose a voice now. We're ready. Spells not working like that. Okay, base attack bonus one. Nah, that's not it. Okay, we, we're good. Yeah, we're just gonna fight. I'm not sure why the game recommended me those starting stats, but if this character just makes no sense, uh. We're just gonna roll with it. Perhaps lower the difficulty. If we really can't make any progress. Uh, my stat allocation does seem to make sense, so we'll see. Although I'm very tempted and I did make made playthroughs where I just completely randomized the starting stats of the characters. Uh, that's, for example, one thing that I did in uh, Wasteland 2. Well, no, Wasteland, yeah, Wasteland 2, yeah, I'm saying that right. And it was, it was really fun, because the characters were not optimized whatsoever. And, uh, <laughs> and, and that just gave uh, them a, an extra bit of uh, flair and, uh, and just difficulty on top. Because you can just make some like dumb characters that are like, oh, they're all the same. But yeah, I think we're just gonna go with this. I don't wanna bench the main guy, or just call him uh, useless all the time. Hopefully this is gonna make sense. So let's go. Complete, right? Are we are we done? I think we're done. <sighs> Armag, an ancient chieftain of the Numerian barbarians, was the chosen of Gorum, the merciless god of war. Legends say that no one was able to defeat Armag in battle until Pharasma, the goddess of death, sent her servants to Kundrita Dan. Of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Oh. The question is, who is this guy? Who is dude? We don't know. It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? Well, I don't know. I just showed up for the money. <clears throat> well, actually, I yeah, just... whatever. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. <sighs> just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. Can I just bump this up? Seems like it's maybe not loud enough. It's really hard to uh, make this happen. Because usually the games, that's that's just another thing that uh, you basically never hear. Usually, usually the games have like the all the volume really like up high. But the voice volume is on the same level, but... Yeah, I don't know. It really shouldn't be on the same level. Okay, so this should be fine. Tartuccio? Come on. Take it back a notch. Alright, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. 
All right. Some big Vic coming to the big table. I guess this is the medieval uh, or fantasy equivalent of overcompensating. Greetings, everyone. So. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. <coughs> what a humble abode you got there, uh, Jamandi Aldori. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this what? task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Well, first of all, you don't know me. Second of all, he says that there are only like a few of us. But even of this like 20 guys we see here, they only need the best of the best. Well, this is your lucky day, uh, Joseph, uh, whatever. Salamius, Salami. This is your lucky day, but come on. You gotta take what you can get. And this is the best you get, man. Thank you, Lord Mayor. <laughs> now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevois' border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. Stolen this Lands? This is disputed territory. And while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. I see. Well, this is more like a sucker mission. So you want me to just get a land for myself and they're just gonna make it legitimate, right? But by making it legitimate, I'm also part of the empire, so it's just a... I guess it's a win-win in a way, because if I just, like, set up shop by myself... Alright, I suppose it sounds like a deal. Unfortunately... One serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, Stag -Lord. considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. I Any see. questions? So I kill the Stag Lord, the rightful low ruler of this uh, stolen lands well unrightful because he's is not well he doesn't play ball with the empire i'm calling uh, whoever jamandi aldori is part of the empire but uh, i guess we're gonna learn later <clears throat> there's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the baron's title that's a good Good question. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Let's well, shut the fuck up, Tartuccio. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Harim, that's a quitter's attitude. But... I don't know. You can come with my team. You don't care about uh, being a baron of that place. And that, that is perfect. That, that is exactly the kind of mentality I want in my team. Just saying. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. Oh yeah. There you go. I'm not sure if I'm always going to read out these extra lines. Um, only when I feel like it. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Really? Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Really? So we go there, we kill the stag lord and all his fucking henchmen, then we kill each other over who is gonna be the baron, and they're just gonna sweep in and they're like, Oh, look at me! I guess this is my part, my land now. 
Why not just recognize that this stag lord is Baron? That's a good point. As I see it, this stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Yeah, I guess. Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. <coughs> this room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> That's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't while I still breathe. But he doesn't pay taxes. You could have just said that. You're helping us found the barony. What do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Fuck, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Tartuccio again. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. Yeah, what can I get for this other than the, the very vague uh, promise of me being a baron? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? Well, I'm getting my own land and you're making me a noble so I pay the taxes. So in a way I see it, I, I risk my life, I, I become a baron, like, okay, but I gotta pay taxes, so... I don't know. Something like money? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Yeah, that sounds good. So what kind of split are we talking about? Like 90% in the pocket? Just, just, just saying. The standard. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Aye. Get the show on the road. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feast. Bah! Can't wait to meet those bootlickers. Now you're talking. Okay, sure. Um, I can use a feast. All right, let's go. Here's the. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better, or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. <clears throat> I wish you luck. Thanks. Is it just me or she was winking when she said, get to know one another better? I guess we'll find out. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go <clears throat> and return in triumph. You basically said nothing. Those are just empty words. We did nothing to prove ourselves. I basically came in here because I took a wrong turn from the tavern. I wanted to go to the whorehouse, but then people, this this place is obviously fancy, and I thought like, hey, maybe I can make some money. Like, I'm hardly a noteworthy adventurer. I'm just a strong dude. All right, let's go. Hi, Whoa. my name's Lindsay. <clears throat> I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? We sure will, just wait. We have plenty of great feats in store? I'm dude, pleased to meet you. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Oh, really? How do 
you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Okay. She's a gnome. Or no, not a gnome. Halfling. <coughs> my bad. Um, I didn't want to offend you. Well, I don't know. I'm flattered. I'm no hero. Just a mercenary. Wait, what book? About me? This is nonsense. I don't know. You, you caught me off guard. My crown sounds pretty sweet, though. I don't want to seem as shallow as Tertuccio. I definitely agree that he's obnoxious, at least. A book? I don't know if I'm even a mercenary. Oh, I don't know. Wh what book? Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Hmm. Well, you're welcome to tag along. The kind of stories I hear, not really read, are mostly just in the pub, you know? And they seem pretty far-fetched, and, um... I, I suppose you get a point. Once you start hearing the story about the guy who had 20 dicks and killed 50 dragons at the same time, you just come to realize that maybe those stories are a bit far-fetched. And it just started with some dude who maybe stepped on a rat. You don't know. So, and let's go. I, thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or, God forbid, Tartuccio? No way. No way it's gonna be Tartuccio. I agree. Tartuccio is definitely not gonna lead me. He doesn't even appreciate me swinging the sword. How could he not appreciate? <clears throat> not a bad plan. It's subtle then. I accompany... I accomplish the feats and you write them down? I don't know. That, that's, that's, that sounds good, but in a way I'm already putting myself in the leader position. In general I do prefer partnerships, I suppose. But now nah, I just want to boss people around because I want to be the Baron. What about barbarians? She looked... Oh, what about that barbarian? She looks pretty heroic. I think her name's Miri. I don't wanna... I have nothing against Tartuccio. Nah, 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 nah. If you, if you wanna write a story about anyone, it's gotta be about me. I, I've heard the stories, even the best of them suck. So, I think I can do better. Deal. Alright, let's go. To my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Wait, what? Right about well, what? The first step on the road to glory. Sure. Okay. Tartuccio, let's talk. I'm not sure if we're gonna have the. Can we ha talk? I won't be halted. Talk with me! No one wants to talk with me! Hurry him! You talk with me! Put that out. We do it my way. Wait, what? Okay, I may need to change one thing. Uh controls. Controlling. Oh no, that's not what I want. Whatever. I think we're good. Guy, you need to chill. You can't just go like... All mm -hmm. this waiting <laughs> Onwards! Okay, I guess we're leaving. Time to take a nap. Or whatever.
Tomorrow we are heading out. Uh, hey? I wasn't waiting for you, I was waiting for Amadiri. She was winking on me, at me pretty hard uh, while she was doing the speech. Why do you need to help me? Why, why, why do you need my help? I don't think that's this is the, that kind of visit. Uh, is this a joke? Get out of my room! Get out of my room, I'm waiting for Aldiri! What's going on? The mansion's under attack, we need to help! What? Count me out! I'm not gonna pay for that. Some villains broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. Sure. I guess I need to get out anyway. Whoop! I guess that guy's not making out. Come back! What the fuck? That's not how it goes! Wait, what? Lindsay, help me! Why well, I, I do? Okay, I, I think I can figure this out. Okay, you need to chill. Kill him! Ooh, what? Two-handed fighter. Start with Earthbreaker and we deal quite a quite a bit of damage. <laughs> I have to say. Okay, it looks good. Scale mail. That's not too bad. That guy. Oh. Uh, do we just take it all? Take it all. Yeah. Can highlight the tab. I won't be halted. Okay, Lindsay, you will get to know this about me, but if there's one way to go, I'll go the other way. That's how it goes. Uh, I guess we're picking that up. I don't care about the bow. Maybe Lindsay cares. I'm not sure if there's a way to uh, have the highlighting on all the time, because I do like that. What's in here? I just collect all. Seems like there's no key for that. <clears throat> well, that's a bit of a bummer. Lindsay, what the hell? Uh-oh. They got some, you have to help them? Cut them to oh, pieces! crap. Don't kill me! Do I have the right difficulty setting? Oh yeah, we're we're on hard. You're just in time. A bit longer, and I'd have been. <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. Shut the fuck up, Tartucci. Hide behind me. Lady Jamandi is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. The fuck? Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Unbelievable this guy is. Sure. What is this? One bonus AC. Okay, let's check the companions. And Lindsay was called forth. Alright. So these are the cantrips. I don't want to go into it way too much. But cantrips are basically useless. 
or extremely situational. You don't want to have them out too much. So she has singing. Two heals. Well, that can be used as a damage. You can also throw out some garbage. I can have that. Maybe do that. He's not gonna use that. Grow claws, we can put that out. We can check this out, and this is a uh, burning hands. So magic missile. So nothing nothing really uh, too surprising. Battles Alright, let's go. We do it my way. We do it my way. Can't go there. Hey! Uh, sure. I'm gonna get their daggers. Seems like there's a share stash in the game. So, uh... Carry limit is mostly important for characters. Yeah, he's, he, can, he can carry like a lot. 400. They can carry nothing. Yeah, I, I know that one. Uh, that doesn't give us anything. Onwards. Okay. Uh, we might need to change the formation. Uh, custom formation. So make Lindsay stand back. This is a pretty terrible formation, but let's go with that. I wrote it like I saw. Uh, let's see what Lindsay is using. So she cannot use longbow, uh, most likely because she either doesn't have the proficiency or she is too small. Uh, could be uh, both. That's kind of how it goes in in these kind of games, because these characters are are, are small. I'm not sure where we can check it out. Um, yeah, we got size. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where we can check it out. But let's move already. It's pretty obvious that they can use it. You follow. So a bunch of dudes are over there. I always have a second plan. Uh So two Bowmans. Okay, let's go back. So the Bowmans have to come in the door. Advanced combat. Yeah. 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 Let's go, dude. That's bad. So we have healing potion over here. This was not oh, he's dead. That's bad. Don't die. Dinzy, can you do something? Oh, 50. Do a heal him, dude. He can kill anybody. Just make sure he, he doesn't die. Please. Do it in time. Wait, what? Was it interrupted? Heal me quickly. Yes, do that. Oh, that saved him. Okay, now, now help him out. Do we have a potion? We don't have any more potions. What is this? Garbage. We can sing, but it seems uh, limited. Uh, we can also change, uh, I believe. Uh, how the, the game shows the combat. We can just have all the information. Because currently we're not getting all the information. And I'm... I'm not sure if it's gonna be annoying. Now, the reason why I picked... Uh, uh, I don't know, I, I suppose a, a higher difficulty. Not only because I'm more experienced with these games... But also, I feel like if you pick a low difficulty, like story mode or like easy, 
I think that's fair enough. You can just like go through the story without uh, not making. Uh, we are not worrying too much about combat, but also you're you're missing out on some hard decisions. Z, don't die. Yes. Okay, health and death. Each character has a certain number of hit points. When a character HP value drops to zero, they lose consciousness. After a combat that is over, there, the character will get up and can be controlled again. A character's HP value can drop into negative numbers. A character can survive some negative hit points, but if their amount become equal to their constitution score, the character dies. To resurrect them, you will need a special spell. Wow, really? So. If a character takes, like, for example, if a dude t took uh, 15 damage when he had five, uh, one hit point, then that would actually kill him. But usually you just drop down to the floor. That just really shows that uh, constitution is pretty important. Yeah, we can heal and use potions. Wow. So, uh, they got potions, some crap armor, whatever. Let's we go with do that. It my way. So, we got a bunch of potions here. Oh, he already has potions. I'm not sure if. If dude is gonna be using the potions, maybe we, I should just give it to Lindsay or Tatuccio. Can they use the potions? Anything is possible. Okay, that's good. I don't tolerate fools. It seems like dude is doing the heavy lifting no one right now. My way. So Lindsay has seven HP. Dude has I'm sixteen HP. All right, let's go. I won't be halted. I won't be halted. Alright, pretty good. Time's wasting. And of course, uh, these uh, these skills are limited use. Are they used upon the healing? Inspire courage. I deserve boost. Throw claws. But yeah, like these characters are doing like pathetic damage compared to the fighter I I made, like one to six, three and a half average, uh, with. Uh, Does it suffer? Negative? No. Three and a half average with plus four. Plus three. This is uh, a bit higher than that. But of course the... Like... <laughs> dude doesn't have any special skills. Oh, what's going on here? Eye armor. Heavy mace. Whatever. What else we got here? Give me that. Taking the money. Taking that too. We do it my way. Pathetic. They couldn't even defend themselves. Come on, Tartuccio. Well, yeah, we're just looting everything. Fishes? Sure, why not? After Onwards. this, we're gonna be hungry. This is not gonna be a total loss, but hey, why the hell doesn't this have a, a way out? Oh. It's the end for you, rats. Oh, that's my style. We gotta help her out. Wait, what? Dude, hurry up. Charge. Use cleave or whatnot. Fucked up. Oh, never mind that. Oh, it's you. Stay up from under my feet or I'll strike you down. Watch your temper, Miri. Blood for oh, Gorum! Miri. Blood for Gorum? Who's Gorum? Or Lord is uh, in iron. Okay. Sure. Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. I don't know. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? 
Calistria, save me from such heroes. Tatuccio, you you gotta watch it. Collector, let's go. Oh, you guys come too. Where did you go to? These they are the assassins. This is your last chance. Drop your weapons and we'll spare your lives. So generous. I'm afraid I can't offer you the same courtesy. Hey, you ugly mug. Get him. What the hell name is that? Well, that guy didn't live long. It's probably for the best. They probably just went through the wall. I lead. You follow. Oh, can we just get get the hell out? Um, sure. Give me your stuff. Um, sure. Spear. They probably can't use the spear because it's too too big. No, they can use it. Not too big. But it's not that good. One more average damage for when they gotta put themselves at risk. Nah, that's not good. Uh, what do we have here? On. So I can go there, I believe. What is this supposed to be? Probably a locked door that looks a, a bit uh, odd. Let me in. Stop playing with the door, Lindsay. We need to go. Dexterity. Uh. Applause, please. And then our leader charges. Is did it? Hey, wait for me. Oh crap! Omen, take Let's this guy out. You cry. <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. Shoot the guy in the back. Leave this one to me. Is it? Can you just heal yourself? It seems like. Okay, let, let's do heal yourself. Okay, that's good. Ray of frost. Thing is, like the the reason I uh, scrap so many skills is because. This is just straight up worse than the light crossbow. This is not. This is basically identical to the right, uh, the crossbow, but we can only use it on, on undead. This is better, but come on! Can we use the the grow claws? Yeah! Just die already! Wait, what? Do you have the claws now? Uh, he does have it, but it's a melee attack thing. Oh, he decided using his AI to use uh, the acid garbage skill. Yeah, that hurt. Why he's looting? Oh, I select him. I just collect it all. All right, let's go. Else. We do it my way. Oh, look at that! Press tab to highlight all. I'm doing that. Composite longbow. Banded mail. So this is a uh, heavy armor. Is it better than what I got? It is better a little bit by one. Let's see. This is technically similar, right? Because our dex bonus, door shield. What have we here? 
This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries, all things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. This place is burning down! Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. Uh, well, I can get this turned by gold. Well, I mean, distracted by gold. Stealing from Sword Lord in her own mansion? We have our heads. I don't know. How much gold? A lot. Take Are you out of your minds? We're in the middle of a battle. Blood flowing in rivers as an army of assassins chases us. And you want us to rob our host? A noble feat, to be sure. Well, we're just gonna take it for sure. Head on. Just for safekeeping. Well, it's true. Like, well, you're assuming, Lindsay, that first of all, this is gonna be a, a one one match, or a, 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 I don't know, I don't know what what you're assuming here, because it seems like everyone is dead, some ice giant guy is killing everybody, and we're just running for our lives. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.